Okie dokie. I hope this darn well works because uh, it's so bright in here, but um, I'm trying to get rid of uh, the shadows. Also, um, when I was looking at the previous videos, I was pretty surprised at even at this magnification, I was able to see a fair amount and it was wonderful to be able to have the, uh, the chart and all that stuff together. So I'll give it a shot. Um, first off, what do I want to say? Well, it's obviously not Sunday. But I did get to watch um, Meandering Mike's initial uh, episode for um, Hexagon Alley, where uh, he introduced this game, which is, I was like, yes. And this is where my mind is, and I love it. Um, well, I'll, I'll get to the second bit in a minute. Is For me, like this is my version of like a summer. Like I'm looking forward to, the, to it this summer, his uh, entire playthrough and analysis and everything else about this game so that to me is like a netflix thing for me where other people you know i'd be like oh this movie or show's coming up or whatever yeah that's where i love being there in that mental space also it dawned on me just a little while ago that um since i'm uh going to be running this game at can games um and that i was making mistakes already and i know like um you know, people were saying, well, it's, you know, this happens a lot when you do playthroughs and so on and so forth. Um, and also yet again, so what I'm saying is I'm going to re, re, I'm going, I want to make sure that I do this properly. So that way, when I'm actually running the game with newbies, um, I'm assuming they're going to be newbies. Who knows? Maybe four or four people are going to show up. They're like, oh my God, we used to play this all the time. Who knows? You never know, man. Um, I want to make sure I got the rules down pat and they're only three pages for crying out loud. So this is like such a good introductory thing for me to get my head around. Um, so I'm going to take my time as well as I've uh, just realized well, a few things. My limitations, I'm not one of those, at least at this time in my life, and I don't think I probably ever will. I'm not one of those professional playthrough people you're going to see. I'm not one of those people, man. I, I'm, that's just it. So I'm not going to, not, and yet again, uh, on the side note with it, I just uh, listened to a nice uh, video uh, Zoe sent me, <clears throat> excuse me. And she was like, you know, we were talking about, uh, you know, expectations, you know, what you're doing about, you know, your hobby and how, uh, wanting to share uh, with, you know, uh, with other people your hobby, but then, you know, where does it uh, blend, you know, like tip over, so on and so forth. And I was like, yeah, that's true. So I've got to remind myself, I'm going to go at my pace. I, I need to read these rules properly. And due to the fact that I have so much else on the go, I don't want, and I was always worried about not doing a good job for this game because I've got a special little sweet spot for it. I can remember many a times, man, uh, last year in live streams bringing this game up like, hey, whatever, you know, and not a peep. I was like, oh, uh, but now it's like, <laughs> it's all over the place. I'm like, yes. So anyways, that's what I'm going to say. I'm going to take my sweet ass time with it and... Um, uh, can games is in may uh mid to late may so here we go uh so here's the russian turn i i wrote these notes i think on sunday morning actually or sunday afternoon and it's um a few things i have to remind myself a the germans are not allowed to cross the border they're allowed to be on the border but uh they're not allowed to cross the border for the first 10 turns um initial setup Germans. Sinem, dee -dee 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 -dee. Where are you? Movement. Initial setup. You would assume it's there. Uh, initial setup. German player units may not be deployed on border hexes. Uh, Oh, I think it's maybe in the addenda. That's right. Beautiful. Uh, German movement restriction. German units may not move outside of East Prussia for the first 10 game turns. They may move on to border hexes. Okay, so I, I was like, uh, 
at first I was like, oh, um, oh, darn it. I made a bad move by, um, keeping these or putting these guys near the fortifications and my supply points. Cause at first I was like, oh, well now it doesn't matter if the, uh, Germans can't come in here for 10 turns. You, you should be getting going. Cause I've gotten, I was looking where my reinforcements are going to pop up. And these guys for here are like, um, either Hex over here, uh, Malawa. And I was like, well, okay, as long as, uh, remember it's either, um, I guess they could load up here because you're not allowed to move from zo enemy zone to control to enemy zone to control, but that would see a, seem to be a giant waste. Um, I guess you'll pop here. Anyways, what I was saying is I have, I'm not worried about them getting there, but I have to worry about them, uh, cutting off the supply lines, uh, back to the rail line. So they may not be able to attack my reinforcement spots directly because, uh, where the heck is it? So I was like, okay, it's not going to be, you know, I can just go crazy as the Russians or whatever. Um, because yet again, the Germans could even like pop, pop as long as they can, um, go, okay. That the person can't trace, you know, as long as I've got that enemy zone of control influence over their, you know, thing back to the supply. Um, yeah, Russian supply varies to be in supply for the first six game turns. Russian units must be within six hexes of a Russian rail line leaning unobstructed to the east or south edges. Beginning on turn seven, this restriction is lifted and the Ger Russian traces supply in the same manner as the Germans via Russian rail lines to the east and south edges. Um, and where did it say? Uh, the um, is it in the zone of control then? Uh, where did I s see it? Thus, for purposes and retreat of retreat and supply, the presence of friendly units in a hex negates enemy zone of control. Yeah, we know that. Supply, I shouldn't say we know that. Supply paths may not be traced through an enemy controlled hex unless the hex is occupied by a friendly unit. So that's the thing I have to worry about, about going too far away. Here's the other little thing. I don't know if you can see this piece of paper. What I was trying to figure out is I, I don't think this is what cavalry screening really is. Uh, what I'm going to be using it for, I, I still have to figure this out. And I know there was um, one of the commenters, darn it, way back when, who loves cavalry or seems to know a lot about cavalry because he was correcting me quite a bit um, in my uh, mini game stuff um, <clears throat> for Dervel Creek. I, yeah, I don't think it's used this. I think it was more like a reconnaissance or like what, anyways, what I'm going to try to do here. It's like I said, almost like a creeping cavalry barrage. What I want to try to do is hinder the German uh, support up front by using the cavalry. And then I'll, because look at this atrocious movement rate. And I'll try to creep in with the infantry uh, to try to be able to at least concentrate somewhere and be able to get in there. The only problem is, I, as we've mentioned before, is... Uh, the cavalry have to stop. Let's read it up again, man. Landstrom. At the outbreak of the war, the Germans organized their Landstrom, third line reservists, into a sort of local militia operating in groups of from 50 to 250 men they were entrusted with guarding the rail lines. While they could offer little resistance to Russian infantry, they proved effective in inhibiting the advance of the cavalry. Whenever a Russian cavalry unit enters a hex containing a German rail line, it must stop and move no further that phase. This restriction applies only during the Russian movement phase and it has no effect on retreats. Alrighty. And yet again, like I was saying, this is a, I'm now f using this as a, one of the main focuses is to prepare uh, to run this game at can games. So anybody who knows these rules or can see you know, whoa, wait a minute, you said this, but please correct me. I, I, you know, I, I need to, I don't want to give the wrong stuff out. Also, later, um, I'm not sure if this is a combination or if it is just one or the other, but when I started seeing all these wrinkles about the supply and the game turns of what, you know, when the Germans are allowed to go beyond the border 
and uh, also the Russians, the way they've added, I think, the designers, the chrome, in the sense of trying to uh, simulate um, the slowness. Of... Anyway, I'm just saying, there's a lot. It, there's a lot going on here. I wasn't sure if I missed that in my three previous playthroughs. It was just ignorance is bliss, or it's, uh, you know what I mean? I'm starting to develop an understanding of things now, or like I said, it's or it's a combination. I really don't know. I'm, I'll hedge my guess is probably the first one. I'll be honest with you. All right, so here we go. I think I'm just going to try the uh, the Russian move and see um, how it goes here. Yet again, I'm going to try to go slow because I don't want to um, screw up. Okay, so when's my next? Um, I've got two more. I got one more turn. I get um, some guys near here, in Malawa. Okay, so these can they can come here, but I want to start uh, scooching out here. And there's a lot of empty space here. I've got no. Yeah, they're gonna have a hard time there. All right, but I, it's the sick. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay, Chris. Um, just stay away from the rail lines. Yeah, shoots and ladders. That's the problem. Is they can go right off the bat and just keep uh, making me retreat. Uh, well, I gotta try, Matt. That's what I'm gonna do. I gotta try to play a bit of cat and mouse. Because if they go here, I can still go here for uh, reinforcements, and away we go. All right. So one, two. Three, four, five. Yeah, all right. What else can I do, man? Do you want to send the cavalry that cavalry there as well? Because he may bunch you up. I gotta figure out a way of um putting them uh, where they can't get me twice, like it with one guy. Well, I piss them off. What happens with rivers? So it's one extra movement point. Okay, doke. Okay. I wonder if there's some way I could wiggle this guy, like force this guy to get out. By, I don't know. Let's try to do. So. I I'm, I'm a, I want to draw them away. I guess obviously in some way. Okay, let's go with that. And stay out of their zones of control. Yeah, it's it's what I just uh, I don't know. I can't wait to like I said watch um, meandering Mike's stuff later on. Too bad he's not doing it before can games, bastard. That would have been nice. One, two. Um, where do you want to go here? So I've got no cavalry. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna send cavalry over here. One, two, three, four. Ooh, stay out of the zones of control. No, it doesn't affect movement. For, yeah, I might as well stay there. Okay, just in case. Uh, no, um, no, that's good actually. Because, uh, oh no, I can go to the border. What am I saying? Uh, at least I get away from that swamp. Yeah, okay. Well, I'll just, I'm going with it. And yet again, with these guys, like I was saying, now that I've clued in, I um, it's going to take them for flipping ever to, uh, to come and get me. And there's no, um, there's absolutely no rail here whatsoever. So I've got nothing, nothing I'm scared of uh, that way. Okay. It'd be interesting if uh, uh, in this game they were given victory points. I'm not a big victory point person, but, um, or, you know, like bonus points if the Germans were able to take certain, uh, certain spots. Uh, that'd be, yeah. Oh, well, it's not the way it not the way the game is. Okay, so where's my concentrated spot going to be? I'm going to go this way. Okay, so crossing the river is an extra one. Jesus. All right, so you go that way. Well, it'll take me time to get there anyways. One, two. Okay, so we've done these guys. Yeah, I should I try to remember to do this just in case. Just in case. Oops. Yeah, it's a sweetheart of a game. I think it's the simplicity, at least for me, of uh, 
only having three pages of rules to read and so on and so forth. And also the nostalgia. Even, I know it sounds ridiculous. Nostalgia. I'm like, I've only been in it in this back into this for about a year and a half. But, um, it, you know, it was kind of like the first um, one of the first games I got into after um, the world undone and whatnot. And I was like, OK, I'm starting to get hooked into World War One here. Uh, this is one thing I was kind of like a bit ticked, but, um, uh, looking at the CRT and watching, um, Meandering Mike's initials, uh, look, uh, he was, um, realizing that the CRT seems to be very attack friendly, uh, even at one-to-one -one odds and so on and so forth, as in, um, the worst that can happen to you is that you retreat. There's no exchanges or, um, or, um. Uh, attacker eliminated so because I was at first thinking oh shoot I should always lead with the higher strength point unit here uh, due to the fact that right now the they can attack at a two to one um, and if I at least if I brought that guy over it would have been a one to one since there's no rounding up stuff here um, and I have to worry about I can't move him to here you're not allowed to go from enemy zone to control to enemy zone to control so <sighs> So, but then I just found out that it's not the end of the world with a one to two. So what I'm going to try to do here, I think I'm allowed, is I'm going to, uh, I'm not allowed to stack. And I have to, uh, I have to do all my moves first, then attack. So I'm not allowed to like do something cheeky. Uh, you know what I mean? Like attack here, advance, and then move this guy afterwards. So um, I'm going to have to move these guy, this guy some way anyways um but i'll bring him here and we'll attack uh what am i saying it's still the same it's still one to two odds you tit um god this sucks uh or no 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 what am i uh, yeah it's still one to two hmm yeah there's no way to get uh oh hold on here nope could i no. Could I? Okay, hold on here. So, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. No, I could do that. That's one to one. And there's no chance of a... So what would I get out of that, though? Not a whole hell of a lot. And I've just, re I've just moved a ton of the guys over that I didn't really want to move over anyway, so... Eh, I don't think it's worth it. I think it, I'll just stick to my normal plan. If we if we push them out of the way, we push them out of the way. If we don't, we don't. Yeah, I think that's the way to go. Okay, so I just have to look at it. The big picture here, maybe. Uh, this is flipping rail, man. Okay, Chris. They can't go. They can't use all the rail all the time uh, everywhere. Remember, one division's worth in one direction on the single track. Two divisions worth in one direction on a double track or one di division either way. Okay. So I'll try to cons uh, use that to my advantage, I kind of hope. In other words, um, yeah, they, yeah, I'll try to use their constraints. Okay. Which means I'm going to go this way. Okay, see, so he's been, s okay, now where are you going to go? This way. One, two, three. And it's only plus one. And I don't have to stop. Gosh, hey, everything's like... You can still get the flipping rail any, any which way I go. Now, which way is the better way, Chris? I'm going to go this way. Okay. So you're done. Four or five. I, I should put a little uh, counter down just to make sure... I tend to like wander away in my mind here. Okay. Um, okay, we've got the forest. Let's start swinging around. Let's start swinging around. But remember, you got to stick within six. So this guy's already shit. See what I mean? Okay. Okay. I don't know where the hell he was. I think he was something. Okay. So. One, two, three, four, 
five or here one two no it's let's say here is it I forgot about the supply so what did it say again to be in supply for the first six game turns Russian units must be within six hexes of a Russian rail line leaning so it's the Russian rail lines not a border one two three four Okay, so you're there, he can start, but he will be unsupplied at the end. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, now he's unsupplied. Okay, okay. But, whew, it's like, slow down, dude, slow down. You just said you were going to do whatever. Which means he's now down to a four movement, and if he attacks... Um, says here, units which are unsupplied have one subtracted from their movement factor and attack at one half strength, round fractions down. They defend normally. Okay, so that's kind of nice. So, what am I saying? Kind of. Mind you, he gets hit with a, a 20 strength point uh, infantry division, even a 16, and it's pretty bad, I would assume. No. If we look over here, uh, the D4s and stuff. Uh, oh, defender eliminated over here, but it's only on a 1. And then the five, it's a one and a two. Hmm. All right. Let's see if I'm an idiot. Let's go with the Russians the way I normally play, which is, uh, I'm sorry to say, balls to the wall, more or less. Okay, let's do this. Let's see if we can plug some stuff up. Yeah. All right. Yeah, because he has no cavalry. I can always just retreat. All right. And I still exert a zone of control. Do I exert a zone of control across a lake or a sea? Units may not cross lake or all sea hex sides. The only exception is the case of the rail line, which crosses a lake arm near Nikolaikon. Uh, this one right here. German units may cross there normally by rail or pay the river crossing movement cost by foot. Russian units may not cross. Units forced to retreat through a lake or an all sea hexide, hexides are eliminated. Zones of control do not shoot. Do not exen, extend across uh, such hexides, nor may supply paths be traced through them. Ah, it was the zone of control. I was going to use it as a protection. <laughs> That's not going to work. Okay, then. Um, I was just going to like a stick here. All right. Um, well, I'll still go in the woods. I think it's a nice little spot. So I've blocked them off. Now I want to block them off. Here would be a nice spot. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Uh, let's keep you here for now. Uh, and then we'll pop you over here. One, two, three, four. So I've now got a zone of control exerting on their rail lines. I'll cut it off here. Okay, goody. Um, let's keep let's keep on thinking that way. Yeah, I think that's the way to think. One, two, three. Four. Now, let's get to town. Let's get to town. Remember, it's within six of a rail line. So one, two. Okay, we're good. It's hard the way I've got the gantry set up. You, well, you can't really see, but I gotta do almost like a limbo. Um, hmm. What do I want to do with you? Yeah, I think I'm okay. Uh huh. We can try to swing around. Let's see here. 
one. Ah, maybe I'm being an idiot. Well, prop most likely. Oh, what am I doing? That's too late. I made the move. So that one, it's like, no, you made the move. I could feel it in my mind. It's like, no, you made Because I'm like, oh, oh, supply unit, uh, supply. One, two, three, four. Like, you got to go back. Or, you know, make sure you're uh, not screwing yourself over here. You know, see? Can't move out of zones. I uh, can't move to here to help. I've got to, you got to start doing some, you know, I keep hammering away at something or uh, not. Um, hmm. So I can always retreat and I'm causing him some grief. Okay. And he can't get to, oh shit, sorry. He can't get to here. Um. So I've got, he's got a six, a two to one odds there, a 10 to two. So, uh, well, that 10 to, 10 to two is useless. Um, so I'm going to have to get ready to start um, being able to get people in position when I am assuming when they start to retreat, they're not able to retreat because I've got an enemy zone of control or... In other words, like, yeah, it's not this uh, I'm going to kill them off in the first move or it's kind of like, I guess, maybe a dominoes effect in your head or something. Um, yeah, I'll go with that. So, that being the case, am I playing this right? Hmm. So I'm never going to get... What would happen on a 1 to 2? I have to get a... I get a 1 to force the defender to retreat. And on a 5 or a 6, I have to. Is it, um... But I... He's... You know what? It's weird. Okay. It may sound weird, but... Just because I need to get out of here, the enemy zones to control and so on and so forth, and I'm never going to win, I might as well just try a one to two odds anyways, if that makes any sense. Um, maybe I'm wrong. I hope you can see that. Okay, let's go. So I'm going to go one to two odds here. Uh, yeah, you got to roll low. It's a two. No effect. So, I'll... Uh, Oh, um, yeah, I'm not making any more moves, I should have said, sorry. So they're done, and I'm going to try a uh, a 1 to 2 here as well. Why not? Or, uh, no, I'm going to not do him, or should I? Because he's probably just going to try me, uh, nail me on a 1 to 1. And he can force me on a 50% chance of forcing me to retreat. Yeah, let's go with it. Oof, 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 oof. It's a six. Okay, so I'm forced to retreat. That wasn't such a good move. Yeah, it was. I was kind of like trying to uh, think, well, he's probably going to force me to retreat anyways. And I want to start at least getting out of these blocking things. But now I've kind of freed them up, sadly. Uh, okay, well, i got to find out what the heck exactly what happens with uh, retreats. Combat. Retreats. Many combat results call for units to retreat a specific, specified number of hexes. The owning player retreats his units, oh, I said it, their units, but under the following restrictions. Retreated units must end their retreats the indicated number of hexes away from the hex they vacated. In other words, yeah, they may not you know, do that weird thing. Yeah, Retreated units must attempt to end their retreats in a hex in in a hack, yeah, it's just a whatever, nearer to su a supply source than the one they vacated. For this purpose, German supply sources are the West Edge, Ma Map Edge, and Konigsberg, and the East and South Edges for the Russians. Okay. So I have to retreat on a six, on a one to two. Uh, um, I'm attacking, and it's a DR1. That's it. Wow. That's it. All right, and the other attack um, I'm uh, going to do 
is the um should I no let's uh we're gonna try the two to one here. And on the two to one I have a well let's just roll and see what happens. It's a four on a two to one, the DR one. So the uh defender has to retreat one. Okay. And I will advance after combat. Am I allowed to advance after combat from an enemy? Let's just take a look. Since uh, I seem to make a lot of mistakes. Uh, advance after combat. Whenever a combat result calls for defending units to vacate a hex, the attacking units up to the stacking limits may occupy the hex. This must be done before any of the other attacks are resolved. And let's just make sure again that I uh, I didn't, uh, I think I jumped the gun. I didn't go through the whole sequence of making sure that I read the uh, rules for combat. Combat takes place between adjacent opposing units at the discretion of the phasing player. Attacking is completely voluntary. The phasing player is considered the attacker, the other the, the defender. The phasing player designates which of their units will participate in attacks against adjacent hexes containing enemy units. They then total the combat strengths of the attacking units brought to bear against the defending hex and compare the sum to the sum of the defending combat strengths in the hex. The, you know what I was stupid of now that I think about it? Ah, oh, you silly bugger. You silly, silly bugger. Now, I decided just to attack with him. Because I was like, well, what's the point? But if I had attacked with that person, and, and you guys probably didn't, you probably assumed that I was attacking with them. I could have advanced that person that way, but I didn't. So this person is now going, I'm, I'm advancing with, and it could be a stupid thing to do. Well, there we go. Oh, brother. Yep. Anyways, I have to play the game. Like, it, that's the way uh, my, my uh, that's the way I saw it. So that's it. I'm going to stop here for the Russian turn. I'm going to pop on over the Germans. And that's that. I hope it worked out good. See you later, guys.